going to give these thrifted vintage tart tins a new purpose. I am going to create some retro Christmas magnets. I colored this one with alcohol ink and then sanded for a rustic look. Adding a little bit of glue for some fake snow. Sorry I'm a bit off camera here. Now this tree I made, but I wanted to give it some color so I'm using some Distress Stain. And then I'm going to glue it right in that tin. I'm going to add some beads for some color. And then a little extra snow to fill it in a bit. Here we are adding a gold star. I would have liked to have had a larger star, but it's all I had, so we had to make do here. For this next tart, I took apart this pick that I thrifted and glued it in the center and added a gold bead. Here I have a magnetic board. It's actually a vintage hot plate that I thrifted quite some time ago. And I want to be able to reuse it. It has some beautiful colors, but not quite fitting for Christmas. So I covered it with a piece of cardstock and used tape to tape it on the back so I can easily remove it later on. I decided it needed a little bit more. So I took this vintage rick rack that I thrifted and added it around the edge with hot glue. Here is the completed magnetic board. I'm just going to place some magnets on the back of these tart tins and we're all set to go. For the next project, we're going to work on creating a three-tiered tray made out of these tart tins. The round wood pieces are cut into two inch lengths and then stained. You can also paint it if you wish. And I glued it all together and it's pretty sturdy. So none of my projects are actually planned. I kind of go with the flow and create what comes to me. I had found this white bottle brush tree and I wanted it pink. So I started out trying to dab some pink into it using alcohol ink, but it didn't quite color it the way I wanted. So I dug out some pink spray and sprayed it and that worked perfectly. Now it's time to fill up your tray. I'm gonna start out by putting in some fake snow just for some filler. And then I'm gonna add some vintage ornaments at this point, you can basically do whatever you wish and use whatever you have. I want to be able to reuse this tray so none of my pieces are going to be glued in. Here's the magnetic board with the magnets. I also think that you could make these magnets into Christmas tree ornaments by adding a hook. I think that would look nice as well. Here's the three-tiered tray surrounded by bottle brush trees and vintage ornaments. Well, that's all I have for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye for now.